Hey guys, what's going on? Frank Rich here, Rebuilt Recovery. And in today's video, I want to give you the two most important questions that you're going to need to ask. The two must ask questions before you begin to try to overcome PMO addiction, before you begin to try to quit porn and reboot your brain. You have to get very, very clear on the answer to these questions. And if you answer them correctly and use them as the foundation for which you build every single part of your life around through this process, not only will quitting porn seem like it's easy, but your life will dramatically change, radically change in a very short window of time. And this is what I want for every single one of you. So stick around guys, we're gonna give you these two questions that you need to ask. And I'm gonna tell you, one of them is not how. So if you're here today, with the goal of trying to figure out how to overcome pornography, you need to shift that question in your mind because it's the wrong question to be asking. It doesn't, it, I, 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 it, it's not a matter of how. You know, there's there's multitude of ways of how, and it's gonna be different for every single one of us. The how, the path to freedom, will look a little bit different for each one of us individually. So that's why these questions that we need to ask are more important because it sits at the root. It sits at the root of who we are, who it is we're becoming, and what drives all the actions that we take. So I'm gonna give you these questions, guys, but before we do that, let me make sure that if you're new here and you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on. Here at Rebuilt Recovery, we are dropping new videos every single day, Monday through Friday, so if you want to get the latest and greatest information on how to overcome pornography, on how to become the man that you were created to be, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on. But the questions, guys, what are the most important questions? What are the only two questions I feel you really need to get clear on before you begin this process? Because the other answers will come. Okay, the first, the first question you need to ask is why am I trying to quit porn? What is my reason why? What is my big reason why? This is gonna drive, this is gonna sit as your motivation. I shot an entire video a few months back on the word motivation and how it's rooted in, in motives and motives are reasons why we do things. So if we're gonna overcome our addiction to pornography, we need to understand why are we overcoming this addiction to pornography? And this is how we help our men here at Rebuilt Recovery get really clear on their why. So if you wanna get clear on the reason why, the first thing you need to understand is what has been the negative implications that pornography has had on your life up until this point. If you're trying to change something, you need to know, A, what needs to be changed, but what has been the effect of the other options. So if porn has affected us in our relationships, it's prevented us from finding the right woman, it's preventing us from really getting close and intimate with our wife or with our spouse, then a big reason why is we need to understand and we need to get back to meaningful, fruitful relationships. If porn has literally prevented us from being able to stay focused, causing us to have ADD, causing us to not be able to complete tasks, maybe being able to not even show up to work on time, then the reason why is because we're not living in a state of purpose. We're not a man that is providing financially. We're not a man that is that is creating you know meaningful uh, value to to the world. So the why is because it's held us back financially. It's held us back from fully stepping into our own life's purpose. So the first question we must ask, and this is the first question, and this is why it's got to sit at the beginning of your program, is why am I trying to take back control of my life? So we got to understand the negative implications, and then we got to create a bigger vision for our life. So who can I become? Okay, and that's the next question, is who do I need to become in order to overcome my addiction to pornography. So we've addressed the why. We have the motives. We have we have the the the, the inspiration and in, in, in what will drive us on a daily basis to make the proper decisions. And the second question, once we've gotten clear on the why, is who do I need to become? So one of the foundations that our entire company and organization is built on here at Rebuilt Recovery is the belief and philosophy that if in order to overcome your addiction to pornography, you must become the man that is no longer addicted to porn. And this is where a lot of our work with our men and, and students is built around helping them get clear on the identity that they are on who they want to become and helping them build a plan. So if we know why we want to quit and who we want to become in order to make quitting a reality, then that drives every decision that we make. And here's why this is more important, because knowing how to do something is one thing. We all know how to lose weight. We all know how to build muscle. We all know how to make a million dollars. You know, making a million dollars is not challenging. Building muscle is not challenging. A, it's got to start with the reasons why. So why do you want to lose weight? 
okay because you're healthy because you're unhealthy you can't sleeping well you're, you're you're worried with diabetes you're worried with heart risk etc cetera, etc cetera. so those are the reasons why people would start to do things so if we can have a clear reason and driving force why at the beginning then understanding of who it is we need to become so how does this play out in your journey how does this play out in your recovery well a lot of the questions that I get from people is how do I deal with triggers what happens when I get an urge or, or the temptation comes to go look at pornography so here's why these and questions matter they matter just not at the beginning but they matter in the real time because if when the trigger arises if when the urge makes its way into your life if you could pause for a moment because you've done some of the initial work to understand what your triggers and urges are if you could pause and reflect upon a moment okay I feel this urge I feel this trigger I feel this temptation pulling me in this way but why am I deciding not to do it? So once again, in the real time moment, you need to be clear on what your why is so you can call upon it. Okay, so if you're clear on the reason why, when the trigger comes, is your why stronger than the urge? If it's not, then you gotta go back because you didn't do the exercise right. Your why should be so important that it doesn't matter what else because this is the guiding light. This is the aim of our life. So trigger rises and occurs. Who or, or why am I why am I deciding to not look at porn? First question. And then once you've gotten clear on the why, who am I trying to become? The man that I'm aiming to become, the man that I'm growing and transforming into, doesn't give in to the temptation. He doesn't seek the instant gratification. So it's not just asking the questions in the beginning, but it's having clear answers so that you can call upon them throughout your day. So if every day when you wake up, you remind yourself of your why. Today I'm living a porn-free life because insert your why. And in order to do that, I need to make sure that I insert who you need to become. It's a simple statement. And if every day upon rising, you started your day with that exact question, with that exact statement to yourself. So wake up, eyes open, whatever your morning routine looks like somewhere within those first to five minutes, announce out this statement to yourself, write it in your journal, remind yourself, put it on your mirror, put it on the fridge and in the kitchen, I don't matter where it is, but it needs to constantly be reminded because this is what's shaping your identity. So upon rising, I'm not going to look at porn today. And in order for me to do that, I need to make sure that I'm clear on my why. And because I'm so clear on my why, I'm going to aim to continue to become the man that is no longer addicted to porn. And you got to insert what those mean to you. But you gotta stop looking at, at why, brother. We've given you so many real-time strategies and tactics. And if you're looking for an actual formula, if you're looking for a proven system, I wanna point you to download our seven-step guide to living life without porn. This is the exact system and protocol that we've helped over 1,100 men in the last 13 months begin to build a new life without pornography. So that's the seven-step guide. I'm gonna link it down there in the first pinned comment below, guys. So if you're looking for an actual proven system or a formula, okay, once you've identified your why and once you've identified your who it is you're becoming, then you can implement the guides. You can implement the steps in the seven step guide. But it's got to start here today with asking yourself who do, these two questions. Why am I trying to quit or why am I trying to overcome pornography and who do I need to become in order to make that happen and become a reality? So that's it, guys. Really hope today's video spoke to you. Hope that it helped you. If it did, make sure to do these two things. Hit subscribe. Turn those posts on the and drop us a comment down there below. What's the biggest takeaway from you guys and what's your why? I'm curious. I'm curious down there below, guys. Let us know what is your why of why you want to overcome your addiction, the PMO. But that's it, guys. Frank Cruz from Rebuild Recovery. See you on the other side.